solve some questions about light waves from past papers. One, figure 6.1 shows a rectangular glass block, A, B, C, D. A, the ray of E is partly reflected and partly refracted at E. I, on figure 6.1, draw the approximate path of the refracted ray with E and beyond the block. Label the ray refracted ray. Actually, this is the refraction of light. Refraction of light is the change of the light direction when it moves from medium into another medium. These two mediums are different in their densities. And in this case, the two mediums are air and glass. So the first refraction with the light ray moves from air into the glass. From rare medium into denser medium. So the light ray will refract. But in this case, refract toward the normal. So, it will be like this. So the angle of refraction will be less than the angle of incidence. The second refraction happens when the light ray moves from glass into the air, from denser medium into rare medium. It will refract away from the normal, but take care. The emergent ray should be parallel to the incident ray. So, it will refract like this. If we want to draw the normal, it will be like this. Okay? After that, he said, label the refracted ray. So this is refracted ray. After that, On figure 6.1, draw in the path of the reflected ray, labeled the ray reflected ray. Here we have reflection. Reflection of light means the light ray will return back when it falls on the reflecting surface. Due to the uh, angle of incidence should be equal to the angle of reflection. And this is the law of reflection. So, the light will reflect, but take care. The two angles should be what? Should be equal to each other. This angle, 60, which is the angle of incidence. So the angle of reflection equals 60. So, this angle should be equal 60 also. And this is the direction of the light ray. This is the reflected ray. Okay. A second ray almost parallel to AE, almost, almost parallel to the AE, as you see, strikes the block at E and is partly refracted at an angle of refraction of 43 degrees. State the approximate value for the angle of incidence at E. He said almost parallel. Almost parallel means the angle will not, will not be equal to 90 degree. Almost parallel means from 88 to 90 degree. So, from 88 to 90 degree. State an approximate value for the critical angle for the light in the glass block. Actually, this is a constant value. Critical angle of the glass equal 43 degree. 43 degree. Triple I, calculate an approximate value for the refractive index of the glass, of the block. N, which is the refractive index, equal 1 divided by sine C. Sine C, C, which is the critical angle. So, it will be 1 divided by sine C, which is 43, equal 1.5. And there is no unit. Why? Because this is the refractive index. It has no unit. After that, the speed of light along ray Fe is 3 times 2 power 8 meter per second. Calculate the speed of the refracted light in the glass block. Refractive index, which is N, equal speed of light in air divided by speed of light in the medium, which is glass. So, this is the law N equal speed 
اوف لاين ان اير ديفايد باي سبيد اوف لاين ان جلاس He asked me to calculate the speed of light in glass. So it will be equal speed of light in air divided by n. Divided by n. So, speed of light in glass, speed of light in glass equal speed of light in air divided by n. Speed of light in air equal 3 times 10 power 8 divided by speed of light in glass, which is what? Or oh, sorry, uh, uh, divided by n, which is 1.5 equal to times times 10 power 8 meter per second. You should be right that at least two significant figures, so it will be 2.0 times 10 power 8 meter per second. That's two. Virtual images may be formed by both plane mirrors and by convex lenses. Figure 6.1 shows the plane mirror and convex lens. Plane mirror and convex lens. A. On figure 6.1, draw rays to locate the approximate positions of the images of the tops of the two arrows, objects O and P, labeled images. Here we have plane mirror and we have convex lens. Plane mirror, from the properties of the image formed by plane mirror is the distance between object and plane mirror equal to the distance between image and plane mirror. So if we want to determine the position of the image formed by plane mirror, we have to draw the first ray from the top of this arrow parallel or perpendicular to the plane mirror. Actually, what would happen when the light ray fall perpendicular to the plane mirror? It will reflect, but it will reflect uh, on itself. Why? Because the angle of incidence equals zero and angle of reflection also equal what? Equal zero. And after that, I'll draw the extension. I'll draw the extension of the first ray. And this is the arrow. Reflect on itself. The second ray. The second ray, the ray will fall on the plane mirror. Okay? And it will reflect like this, right? And I extend the reflected ray till it reach the first ray here, so the image will be like this. So this is the image. This is the image. Okay, so this is the image of the plane mirror. About the convex lens, as you see, the object found after or before F, before F. So how can we draw the image of this object? We have to draw two rays. The first ray, parallel to the principal axis. You think what will happen when the light ray fall parallel to the principal axis on the convex lens, it will refract, but it will refract passing through the focus. So, it will refract passing through the focus like this. So, this is the first ray. The second ray, the light ray, will fall on the optical center, which is the midpoint inside the lens. The light ray undeviated, it will not refract, it will pass in a straight line as you see. So, it will be like this. Directions will not refract. 
And after that, I'll draw the extensions of these rays till they meet with each other and I'll draw the image. So, it will be like this. So this is the image, and we have, as, as you see, different in the uh, properties of the image in the two cases. This image equal or the same size as the object, play mirror, and this image will be enlarged from the object, as you see. After that, both images are virtual. What is mean by a virtual image? Virtual image means cannot be caught in the screen. Means cannot be caught in screen. After that, state one other similarity between the two images. The two images are erect or upright. So, erect or upright, erect or upright, okay? State one difference between the two images, one difference between them. This image, which is formed by plane mirror, as I said, equal in size to the object. But this image is enlarged in case of the lens. So, the mirror image and lens image. The lens image is enlarged. Okay, but the plain mirror image plain mirror image is the same size 